Okay guys, I'm back again. This time with a quick unboxing and demonstration on the Powerline Encore USB Power Anywhere charger. This little charger was sent to me from Powerline for testing and evaluation and I'll also be posting my review on my main channel. So, let's just take a quick look at it. As far as the box, uh, there you can see it has a wall plug in the back. It has a little power indicator at the uh, front of the unit, a button, and a couple of USB uh, adapters. Here you have a DC in, which looks like a micro USB, it has a little flap to it, as well as a one amp uh, USB port for charging your various devices. Look at the side of the box. Top of the box, you just have a little, um, I guess, uh, display hanger. Other side, at the bottom, just have some trademark information and at the back it gives you a breakdown of how the device works you have a 2600 milliamp hour lithium ion battery which is user replaceable typically with devices like this you have an internal proprietary battery that once it becomes uh, useless it, it's going through as many cycles as it can handle and won't accept the charge anymore you have to throw that device out but with this it takes a 2600 milliamp hour or whatever capacity 18650 you can fit in there and it will continue working for years and years and years uh, it has an AC charger plus DC charger that's just the power plug uh, that I was speaking of earlier which means you can use this just like any other wall charger then once it uh, is unplugged it will continue charging until the battery goes out uh, it has worldwide input voltage so I'm guessing that will work with uh, Europe's input voltage of 200, um, I believe they were operating off of 230 or 240 volts. I have to check that up. Uh, but you have a, a graphic display monitor uh, to show charging and battery level. And then again, the 1 amp USB output for charging uh, smartphones. And then the compact micro uh, USB charging cable, which is included. So let's go ahead. I have my handy dandy little knife here. And we're going to open this up safely. <laughs> Don't want to cut myself. So let's go ahead and get the knife down here. You just have a little plastic um, tab. I'm kind of tearing up the box here, but got it open. Let's set that aside. And it looks like it's sitting in a little plastic tray have your operating instructions set that in the box aside so here you have your main device a micro USB charging cable, a little short maybe one or two inch one and then a 18650 uh, button top style battery so that's pretty nice I thought this was going to take a um, something like one of my flat top batteries but it actually has its own little button battery uh, with a capacity of 2600 milliamp hours and it actually lists it. It's very small not too sure if you're going to be able to make that out on camera but it lists it at 2600 milliamp hours so let's get everything unpacked here. A little USB cable as well as the device itself so it's a nice white color with orange accents. You have your Encore logo and battery uh, charging status indicator outlined in gray. It has a nice solid feel to it. You have your flip out um, wall adapter. And I'm actually looking at it and up close it, it lists the model number. You're not going to be able to make it out on camera but it is able to handle between 100 and 240 volts AC that's why they call it a world adapter and also 50 to 60 Hertz so yes this will work in Europe uh, without the need of a uh, power converter so when you plug this in it won't blow up or anything like that uh, but in the back here you also have a battery door just snap that open have your positive at the top, negative at the bottom. We're going to put the battery in here and see if it is holding a charge. And it looks like maybe the battery may be dead. I haven't read through the instruction manual. 
Okay guys, so it was completely my fault. I did not read the operating instructions, which I typically don't, but this time it was important. Uh, right here, in the operating instructions, you see it says IMPORTANT in all caps, and next to it it says that the battery has to be initialized before it can be used. Um, what you have to do is you have to put the battery in here and plug it into a wall socket for a couple of seconds so that it can recognize the battery and program it in. Once you do that, hit the little power button here and it shows the charge status. Now it's not fully charged from the factory but it did have um, some amount of charge on it, enough that I can actually charge my camera now. So a little charging indicator right here on the side of my camera. I'm going to plug this into the Encore. Then you hit the power button and sure enough it starts charging my camera. So that was my mistake. Um, you just have to read the instructions manual uh, before you get started on this. Hopefully I save somebody some grief um, who bought this and also was wondering what was going on. It's just that the battery has to be initialized, which is not an issue at all. So that's just my quick unboxing and demo on the Encore uh, Power Anywhere USB charger. Check back again in the next week or so, and I'll have a full review on my main channel. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.